from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello and good morning. I'm James Tully. Greg Deep has a look at your forecast coming up first, though. We got our hands on a new White House report about COVID-19 in the U.S. and what Florida should do about it. In its latest report, the Department of Health said there were nearly 7,500 new cases. That brings the total number of cases in our state to nearly 300,000 since March. The state also added 85 new deaths. The positivity rate for new cases went up to over 8.5%. Several Bay Area counties are now in the double digits for their positivity rate, including Manatee and Sarasota. We'll keep track of that. The most recent weekly White House coronavirus task force briefing says that Florida is in the red zone for cases and yellow for test positivity with increases in both. They recommend more proactive testing at at risk groups and surveillance testing for communities. They also say people need to wear masks at all times in public and that there needs to be a reduction in capacity for indoor spaces. President Donald Trump has fired a top Homeland Security official and linked it to comments that there is no evidence of fraud in the 2020 election. Christopher Krebs was the director of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, and last night he reacted to the firing, saying, quote, honor to serve, we did it right. This comes as President Trump's campaign will soon have to decide by tonight at 5 whether to file for a statewide recount in Wisconsin. Since the margin is larger than a quarter percent, the campaign would have to pay nearly $8 million for that recount. President-elect Joe Biden leads there by more than 20,000 votes. Hillsborough County's Pet Resource Center is trying to get as many animals out of its shelters for the holidays. There are dozens of dogs and cats ready for adoption and fostering. The Pet Resource Center also waiving adoption fees. All pets up for adoption are registered, vaccinated, and spayed or neutered. Amazon says that Alexa will start guessing what you're going to ask even before you speak. A little creepy. Amazon made adjustments so Alexa takes your requests and compares it to previous searches, then comes up with a question. For example, if you ask how long does it take to steep tea, Alexa will answer start with five minutes and then follow up by asking if you want to set a timer. Things like that. It's getting smarter, Greg. It's getting much smarter. One of these days, it's just going to crawl out of that speaker and take over the house. All right, good morning, everybody. Here's what we're looking at out there today. 40s and 50s to start today, mainly clear skies. Grab a sweater, a jacket with you. It's chilly and will remain chilly through at least probably... Uh, 10 o'clock by Florida standards, still in the 60s. Now, once we get towards the lunch hour, temperatures will get back up into the mid-70s. It is also going to be brisk with a north and northeast wind at about 15 miles an hour. That'll make it feel cooler. The sunshine, though, will help. We do have some shower chances in the seven-day forecast. Check it out right now in the ABC Action News app. 